Okay, so let's get into the whole debate thing. First, with the vice presidential debate, who won, how, who, the problems with it and stuff, and with the candidates, and then with the whole issues regarding the supposed second debate, although that's apparently not going to happen with the re with Trump deciding not to get into a virtual debate for a multitude of reasons. I will be coming that um, a after the vice presid presidential debate. So, who won the vice presidential debate? Mike Pence. He was professional. He was normal. He he was the clean. Honestly, he's the clean cut kind of guy you would see from a television or just from old speeches in in regards to the, the stereotypical politician. Although it, it's it's I'm you, I know a lot of people are thinking that I'm trying to use that's a, a bad way of saying it, but in this way I'm trying to say it's good because it's more of a he more represents the cleaner side of the Trump administration. A little being able to give out uh, speeches professionally and giving out arguments completely clear and uh, giving out a good good reason for why undecided voters should vote for Donald Trump in his re-election campaign. And I also believe that he actually did pretty good in terms of his in terms of answering the question about uh, if Due to the fact that Donald Trump had uh, COVID-19 and how that he could have possibly um, died as a result. Because he was within that age range and he had some, he, he was, he's obese, to put it mildly. Uh, he answered that pretty well, especially since he has been vice president for at least four years. So I think, so considering that, not really too, too bad, to be honest with you. That's completely different from Kamala Harris. All, as far as I have seen, especially with the, the, law, the law of the tension that's been resulting within the Biden-Harris campaign, I don't really trust Harris whatsoever as vice president, let, or as president, let alone as vice president. She, when she came out on the stage, she looked all smug. She looked 100% smug. She had that annoying grin on her face. She constantly moved as if she was, like, do as if dodging the question. Kind of a little bit cartoony, to be honest. And, of course, her laugh. Don't forget her laugh. And... <sighs> I I again, I really do not... Tr I do not... There's a reason why a lot of people do not like her, especially with her past records, which... In all honesty, I do not think she actually truly defended. She cut, she's been a major flip flopper many times. She supported BLM, yet this, yet in the past, as a, a prosecutor for, uh, uh, for Cal for, for the California justice system, she decided to lock up thousands of black people. That's I don't I didn't think she def, she I don't believe whatsoever. She did a good job defending that part of her record. And what and she didn't even answer some of these questions whatsoever. Like with as an example, the packing of the Supreme Court. I know that's been a major talk about ever since with Amy Coley Barrett, how Trump has decided to nominate her to replace Ruth Bayer Ginsburg, and that sort of thing. There ha Democrats have been talking about the possibility of trying to pack more pe more justices in the Supreme Court, further making the political Oh man, that's such a bad idea. If that if Democrats do that, then Republicans will do that. And but I'm not here to talk about the possibilities of the future. What I am talking about is basically how the how Biden and Harris responded whatsoever to that specific question. They didn't. They basically just dodged it 100. percent In the case of Donald Trump in the first presidential debate. He was very insistent about him him answering that question, where to the point where Joe Biden just broke down and said, "Would you shut up, man?" And he and they just skipped it. This is it, it's kind of it was kind of the same thing, but it was more of a more a little bit more professional in the case of Mike Pence, where he tried to get back at her, get back at her over the answer, and they never ever answer it. Hell, just very recently, a few hours ago, they just decided, oh, just elect me, and then you'll know my uh, 
opinion on packing the Supreme Court. That is not, that isn't, I'm sorry, Biden, that is not a good selling point. That is absolutely not. And again, with Kamala Harris, did he, did he really, did they really have to choose Kamala Harris? All, all she did is, from my, from my perspective, and I'm, I'm being a little bit biased, especially since I'm a conservative and I'm uh, a commentator on a conservative channel, which I started up. She's been, she's just been spewing lies. Case in point, Charlottesville. Despite the fact that if you looked at the interviews, if you looked at uh, Trump's response to the whole Charlottesville incident, in full context, mind you, seeing the entire video, you would see that Donald Trump condemned neo-Nazis and white supremacists and the KKK. Yes, it's true. He did say that there, there were five people on both sides. But obviously, he was excluding the neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and KKK. But nonetheless, Democrats have constantly, for the last three years, took that narrative and rolled with it. And it's been rolling with them ever since. And it was shown at the v VP debate. And Mike Pence... Honestly, he managed to block, managed to dodge that attack. It, 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 in all honesty, it wasn't really that hard because, again, just look at, go through into the internet. And so, in terms of my judgment, yeah, Mike Pence definitely won. There, I know uh, there are a lot of people uh, on my channel that probably do not like Mike Pence, and that that's that's completely fine. But in terms of, uh, in this case, I think he was a definitely a, a powerful uh, figurehead. And what I mean is, he's basically, uh, basically the shadow, the opposite of uh, Donald Trump in a way. He is, uh, while Trump is the yin, Pence is the yin. Trump is the yin, Pence is the yang. That's what I meant to say, sorry. And they work complimentary, complimentary together. Trump is the bulldog. Pence is the Pence is just the uh, gentleman kind of guy. Trump is the bad cop. Pence is a good cop. And I honestly think that was that's a pretty good good idea that uh, Donald Trump chose him back in 2016 to be his running mate. And it and it obviously shows. So 100 percent. Mike Pence, and I need to save this <laughs> because I know a lot of people are going to be talking about this on the comment section down below. The fly. It lasted for two, for two, three minutes, and I was like, "Ugh, Pence, please, just I don't know if you can feel that or not. Just could you please, uh, swipe your he head, at, swipe your hand over your head just to get to fly away." <laughs> it was really annoying to see, but nonetheless, although I, I have to admit, the memes of it are pretty good. I, I've heard that there is a, uh, a meme where Joe Biden's face is on the fly, and he's sniffing, so, he's sniffing Mike Pence. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I, need to, I have got to see that, but I've seen pretty good memes already. But now let's move move forward to the second presidential debate, which, or I should say, the supposed second presidential debate, because now it seems like it's a no go, because Donald Trump is has said that he's not taking part in the virtual debate, and honestly, I I definitely agree with him on this, because just prior to the three debates, both. Both the Trump and the Biden campaigns decided on an on agreement that they were going to meet face to face in all three debates in person, and then automatically after the first debate, there has been new changes to the rules, such as cutting off mics, and now with the whole COVID situation with Trump. Uh, making it virtual, which it's, and not, honestly, the reason why I say that I'm with Trump on this is because of how heavily, how much of an advantage this would give to Joe Biden. Unfair advantage. 
because you could because Joe Biden can simply be in his office or his basement or what whatever he can have his entire staff who can go to him to instruct him on on this stuff and how to what act what to answer and that sort of thing and that that honestly is just when that would not make it very fair in, at least in my honest opinion and, and it would not absolutely would not be genuine there's a reason why I I actually support the idea, still support the idea, of Joe Rogan actually starting the fourth debate between these two candidates and then actually making a cool talk. The rest of the country would tune in on that 100%, and they would love it. I, I think I 100% guarantee it. <clears throat> but, alas, by in essence, never responded to such a thing, so as far as I know, that's not going to happen, but... Again, this this is an overall changing of the rules after the first debate, despite the fact that before the first debate, they already established this. They've established that they would be sit, they would be in person, that there would be a be a debate of about two hours, give or take, and that there would be a be a moderator. Again, right there in person with each other, and now all of a sudden, all this is getting loose. And, Again, this would just be, e it would easily give Joe Biden 100% advantage. I do not, I do not like the idea of it being virtual. It just, it, it, in all honesty, it would just completely just be a shield for Joe Biden. I know, I know I'm saying this a lot of the time and in, in just in this video specifically, but it is true. Hell, it, 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 that was kind of the same thing with my with the first presidential debate, and I know that a lot of people it, said in the comment section how stupid I was for thinking Donald Trump won in in that situation, which I still stand by this that decision one hundred percent. And here here's the reason: he was the bulldog, and he was constantly pounding on Joe Biden for his answers, and was trying to agitate him so much. Being in the virtual debate will not give him that give him that opportunity. And he will not be able to strike a decisive blow at what what was supposed to be a town hall. From my understanding, the I believe that there were, that um, news articles have actually said that there won't be a second presidential debate. There will be a third, and I honestly can't wait for that. But I can I, but <laughs> honestly. The but honestly, the news media and the and the committee for uh, presidential debates basically they should blame themselves on this. To be in all honesty, because thanks to them um, changing the rules mid already within the um, as debates, I I would like to call it debate season um, is underway. They just automatically change rules. Which you can, which you can uh, argue, hurts pres hurts President Donald Trump. I re I really hope that I really hope that, in all honesty, that there will be a there will be a second second presidential debate in person. But as far as I can tell, I don't believe that's going to happen, and I'm going to be waiting for the third presidential de debate. And I still believe Donald Trump is going to beat the living crap out of Joe Biden. My name is Noah Meehan on the Arc Truth. Please post your comments down below. Like this video, subscribe, and share with, your, share with your friends. Also, if you have any issues regarding my videos, such as how I frame stuff, how uh, my improv, my speaking, or anything whatsoever, please post them down in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you. Mm.